it's been a while since we did a YouTube video, but I would everything has changed since the last time I was on YouTube. Um, I'm now four days out from the show. Um, I can't actually remember the last time I did a YouTube video. It must have been like a month or so ago. Um, but we're doing back to my last session on home soil, and then I fly to Texas tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do arms to Manai land, and then that'll be it for the week. Um, but yes, just plan is to do back today. Obviously, like I said, you know, it's not going to be like loads of heavy stuff. It's very much like a peak week kind of style session but it gives you a little bit of an insight into how I do my peak week sessions. The hard work is still going to be done, but it's just done in a slightly different way. But yeah, that's the plan of action today. Just get it done and, uh, you know, four days out. So really excited to just get things going. Good. That's it, just two more. So peak week is very much about the you know, hard work. So a lot of people, the hard work's been done. Um, I started prep at 80 kilos and I was bang on 60 this morning and that's a 16 week prep. So it's been one of the least stressful preps I've done, the most enjoyable preps I've done. Um, and you know, it's so important to enjoy the process because you get so much out of it. At the end of the day, it's your choice to do this. Prep is a privilege. And if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Like don't go around complaining about how hard prep is and how much you miss food and shit like that. You know, if you love prep, if you love bodybuilding, then you'll get so much more out of the process. And like I said, my lifestyle's changed so much this time around that I'm actually fully able to immerse myself in this prep. Yes, we have our self-doubts. Yes, we have our stress. Like I've been stressed in the past couple of days, but it is what it is. It's because we care. It's just about letting everything fall into place. What happens this weekend happens. I've loved every minute of it. And if, you know, if I need to go and do another show, then I will. It's just about embracing it all, giving my best. I've improved the package that I did last year. And it's just about going on stage, having some fun, and just showing the world that us UK ladies are, are ready to smash it. So uh, it's been a really good time, really good experience, and I just can't wait to get on stage. He's the uh, prep support dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, nice. And go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Come on. Squeeze him through, squeeze him through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, one more, one more, one more. Go for it, come on. And go. Go, 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 go. Perfect, that's it. Good. Very good. That's it. Rip it a little bit. That's it. Yeah, come on. Five, come on. Four, three, come on, two, one, that's it, nice, stay there. Good, good, come on, come on, four, three, two, and one, that's it. Very nice, good. Very good. That's so yeah, that's fine. Put a little bit of extra rear dance. Uh, it works well to be honest. Back to that anyway, so. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Good. Good. Oh, nice, come on. Good. Yep, again. Yep. Come on, last one, last one. Good. And one. Drop, quick shake off, maybe a little, little bit more elbow bend, use a little bit more torso flexion now to. Yep. Yep, again. That's it, again. Yep, and again, let's go. Two, good, one more, one more, one more. Yep. That's it, nice, good. Very nice. Very good. Good, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. Hey. Good. Come on. Again. Get it. Get it. That's it. Good. All right. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, very nice. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Yep. 
Yep. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Nah, that was so much. Good work. It's still kind of like hard stuff, but it's not like stupid heavy fucking rip and grip. Because at the end of the day, we're four days out, but you're not going to build any muscle now. It's all about preserving what you have, moving the blood around. A lot of people do tend to like back off when it comes to getting close to a show. Now, obviously, it's really important to remember injury. You know, you're in a more of a, like a more susceptible position to be injured. But for me, the way Connor and I train, or the way Connor trains me now, is I honestly believe it's what brings the package that I do to stage, that hard look, because we still incorporate volume, we still incorporate heavy sets. We're pretty much going to failure bar one or two reps at the moment. And, you know, like I said, it, I think it's the way that we approach peak weeks, the way we run up to peak week, like weeks leading up to the show, keeping in heavy work, especially around legs and back and stuff like that is so important and it's you know something that gives me that look on stage. We don't back off, we keep working, we just work a little bit smarter around kind of close to the show and stuff because you, know, you won't be doing one rep max squats or anything at this point in time because you're just going to snap some shit. So yeah, maybe changes slightly but we're still getting the work done. Um, and yeah, just that's how we kind of train. Might be a little bit different to what a lot of people do. It's like I said, a lot of people back off thinking they need to, but your body's an amazing thing. You're capable of doing a lot. Yes, like today I feel like fucking shit, but come in, get the work done. It's all for a purpose, you know? Every rep, every set is a set close to the O stage. And if I know that the people that I'm on stage with, if they've done an extra rep or set, I'm backwards, so I've got to beat them. I've got to be better than them. I've got to push harder than them. So that's exactly what we do right up until I step on stage. Posing, I'll outpose them, I'll work on my posing day and night. Like, it's very much about being like, they're doing that, I'm gonna do this, watch me be better than them. Yep. Oof. Yep. Oof. And again. Oof. Yep. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That's it, nice, no, good. Very good. Yep. It's not a superset with swings. It's we're just actually stretching. So if you didn't hear con, it's just like a weighted stretch. I'm so fucking light now that I don't want to move anything when I like fucking hang on it. Just because I'm a little bit tight from like posing and stuff. So if we can open up as much as possible on movement, obviously this is a nice movement to open up everything, but we can just add that in to open up even further. Just because at this point everything's just sore, everything's just tight. It's going to open it up nicely, it's just going to benefit me more when I get on stage or when I go into other movements and stuff like that. Right. And go. That's it. Yep. Nice. Yep. Go. Come on. That's it again, let's go. Jump. Yep. And then three. Yep. And that's it, I should work. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very good. Right, we're going to come through here now? Yeah. Good. Good. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, you'll see with these, so a lot of the time my clients, when you're rowing, just just pop the chest ever so slightly, it just allows for a better contraction. I think that's what you yeah. would agree, right? Yeah. Instead you push, of being like, you like chest this. Up through. Yeah, chest up through, you get a, such a good stretch and such a like such a good contraction. It's just You can't hit your lap properly if you keep your chest rolled for you know, exactly. chest down rolled forward. So it creates a roll with the shoulder yeah. more so than the actual pulling down with the laps yeah. and stuff, you know? Yeah. So when doing shit like this, just put the chest up. There's such an easy change can make such a difference to your lat growth, back growth, and just the movement itself. Spread your nose. Spread your nose. Just this, my abs. Yeah, done, finito. Right, obviously I haven't shown you guys abs training, but I started implementing it a little bit more. Well, you'll see we never do weighted abs because I think you can get so much more work done without weight in regards to core work. Because I think if you add weights, the chance of you thickening your waist are much higher. So we'll do a combination of planks, ab rollouts, and if we do things like crunches, leg raises, they're controlled, they're unweighted, and they're all about the sort of the squeeze. And I just think it's made such a difference. And a lot of the time we see people do like leg lifts with weights and shit like that, they're just using their hip flexors. And obviously that's just gonna thicken everything up. Whereas in my division or really in any division, you want a nice small waist that's controlled during your posing. And obviously it also helps with my big compound movements because I'm able to control and brace when I need to to keep everything safe. Yep. Yeah, I'm down. That's it. Good work. Uh, Good stuff. This thing's a bitch. <laughs> uh, how, um, how often does that happen? Uh, I tend to do it like two, three times a week normally. In my prep, I tend to just get up and do them in the morning with some vacuums. Um, but I try when I'm not, that's when I'm not with Con, but when I'm with Con, I tend to do them after back. So it's like twice, two, three times a week. Seems to be enough. Normal ones, then you're gonna do six paused ones. All right, so let's go. Good. Five. Six, good. Come on, come on, let's go. Three. That's it, fight for it, fight for it, come on. Yep. Come on, give me two more if you got it, let's go. Two. One more, one more. Ah, sad that much. good. I see that little lie down there. <laughs> That's so fucking annoying. I'm counting that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> look, so look at me, funny. look at me pausing for ages as well. <laughs> Fuck me, man. That's so frustrating. Good work. Good. Oh, three. Good. Come on. Two, that's it. Right. Good work. Nice. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> hips to lift, hips to lift, that's it. Yep, 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 that's it. No, 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 come on, come on, come on. That's it, that's what I've done. Very good. Oh. Straight back in, let's go. Get the knees up, that's it. That's it. 
Two. Two more. Two. And one. Squeeze up. Oh, I need to do some holds now, so engage. Engage. That. Hold point. That's it. Hold. 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 That's it. Good work. Good work. All right. Yeah, done. Oh, thank you. Okay, so there we have it, guys. My last session before Texas on the weekend. Uh, like I said, like, well, like I said at the beginning, just a little bit of back today with some abs at the end. A lot of stretch kind of, uh, well, we incorporated some stretch work just because I'm a little bit tight today. Uh, a lot of tempo and traction work as well. Like I said, throughout the session, there's no point kind of beating myself up today because we're not going to grow any muscle. Um, it's about being smart with our approach at the moment. We've still got the work done, uh, but no stupid heavy lifting or anything like that because it's just stupid at this point. Um, so yeah, some obviously cool down variations, some row variations, stuff like that. And obviously at the end we did some abs, like I said, we don't really do weighted abs, We've never done weighted abs with Connor. Um, it's all about controlling and squeezing with the abdominals and utilizing kind of planks and rollouts and stuff like that. I do program a lot of my client ab work like my, uh, myself with no weights or anything, utilizing obviously planks, dead bugs, rollouts, and then obviously unweighted crunches and leg lifts and stuff like that. It's very important to slow down ab work um, just because you can get a proper contraction that way and there's less chance of like thickening the waist or the musculature around the waist when you're utilize, utilizing just body weight and stuff like that. Uh, I'm very genetically gifted in the fact that I've got quite a small waist um, and I have quite good abs. My mum was the same, my mum's a bodybuilder and she had good core. A lot of my family actually just have really good midsections um, so obviously I'm very gifted in that area. Um, but you'll see, like, obviously we did some ab rollouts with a little bit of kind of like a variation to it with some stops and stuff. And then we did like a, a sort of a leg lift superset into planks. We had two or three rounds of that and then that was that done. But really good session today. I've got one more session to do in Texas, which is arms tomorrow. Um, and then obviously we start carb up tomorrow afternoon. But generally feeling really good for Texas. Um, you know, I, like I said at the beginning of obviously the video, um, this is the best package I've brought. In my opinion, I've improved on what needed to be improved on last year. Um, and I'm just going to let things fall where they may. Whatever happens, happens. I've enjoyed this process so much more. There's been a lot, a lot less stress. Things have been a lot smoother. So I can only thank my coach, Tom Haynes, for being alongside it. So I can only thank Connor for being a massive part of my journey as well. Um, my environment has been so much better this year, so I really cannot complain. Um, I think have just fallen where they may. And it's just about enjoying the process enjoying being on stage. Obviously, I've had Lisa Gelsey in my circle this year as well. She was with me last year as well, but we've managed to really kind of um, work on my posing and just pose with confidence and relax as well. Uh, I get very nervous pre-stage, which obviously makes me forget stuff. Um, so just visualization is massive in this part of the process as well. I visualize a lot of the things that I do when I got on stage and it helps me just relax into it. So. Very, very excited to see what happens, to see how I stack up against some of the best in the business and uh, just ready to kind of take my bodybuilding journey to that next level. Uh, but like I said, the most important thing is to just fucking enjoy it because you'll get the most out of it. Um, and you know, prep has taught me to really challenge myself. It's, it's shaped and molded to who I am today. It's tested me physically and mentally. And that's what this is all about, is being comfortable outside of your comfort zone and developing and progressing in that zone as well. So, you know, thank you for everyone's support. I really appreciate it. Obviously on Instagram, YouTube, wherever it may be, I appreciate everyone's support massively. It never goes unappreciated. Um, but yeah, let's go and do the do. Let's show the USA what the UK ladies are all about and women's physique. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Obviously, follow me on Instagram, Mighty 20 I will be reopening coaching slots after the season is done, so you'll see that on my Instagram. If you're interested, either hit click the link in my bio or click the link down below in the box underneath this video. But once again, guys, thank you for the support. Let's show the uh, states what we're all about. Take it easy, guys.